We are now open for the 2024 season and welcome to Frontierland. Our season every year is closed from January 1st all the way through March, and that gives us three months to renovation and put up new items and change stuff. This year we did the Wild West. We built this just like Dodge City was back in the 1860s through the 1880s. As you go from one room to the next, you're gonna have that feel just like back in time. I am now going to give you a tour of Dodge City. The first stop would be the Marshal's office. We are now at the gunsmith shop. This is the place where the cowboys would go to get their guns repaired. Dodge City would not be complete without having itself a dentist's office or a barber shop. I am now standing in front of the general store. This is the place that uh, any frontier man can come and get supplies that he wanted. Many of these items in here are from back in the 1800s. Then beside me over here, I have the livery stable. This is Dodge City Hotel. One might never know what famous cowboy ever spent the night here. Dodge City would not be complete without the Long Branch. It was very famous for gambling and drinking. I think this whole room was meant to be. I was born in 1948. Rockford Speedway started in 1948. I moved up here from Iowa in the late 60s. I started racing at the Speedway in the 70s. Hugh Derry built the lodge in the 70s. He wanted to make a lot of it look like the Old West, and all these things you're seeing here come out of the Rockford Speedway Lodge. Last fall, Rockford Speedway decided they were gonna close their doors and they decided to auction off the lodge. I bid on all this stuff and won the bid, not knowing I had two weeks to get everything removed. So I had to hire an extra crew to come in, but we got this all out in two weeks. During all this time and all these years, I had no feeling that I would ever own this stuff. It's pretty touching to know all these uh, buildings are sitting right here at Historic Auto Attraction in Frontierland now. We have a company called Left Hander Chassis across the street. We build and sell race cars and parts. So I've been involved with Rockford Speedway for so many years that I feel very honored to carry on the legacy. It's really, really hard to get some real to life artifacts to fit the dioramas you're trying to build. But Dunley's Old West Town had all these on their display and they are out of the 1800s and now they're here and it really fits frontier land. We turned the motel into uh, several different dioramas in here and every one of these are very important people from the old west such as the first one i'm showing you buffalo bill and he is so well known from that time period my favorite addition to the museum this year is wyatt earp he is the most famous cowboy of the 1800s and we have a large collection of his items as you can see. Jesse James, very famous outlaw back in the 1800s. We have several of his pieces also just waiting here for you to come visit. Each season while we're shut down, I tried to do some major changes. We got President Ronald Reagan's presidential limousine in here. We added animals into the animal kingdom. I changed over JFK's displays. I mean, lots and lots of things for you all to see if you want to come visit us. We're open every day except for Monday, 10 to 5. And one more thing I got to say. I couldn't do any of these without such a good team of workers. Alex and Melissa, they went in and took the lobby and stripped it apart, redid the whole thing. It's got a whole new feel. So the museum, if you were here last year, it's going to be all new for you.